As students are working on projects in my class, I think it's very important for their work to be evaluated and for them to receive feedback throughout the entire process. So in the past, I used to have students do peer evaluations and I'd be printing out or photocopying many copies of the rubric. I decided to use Google Forms to do this for me. But when you do a Google Form, you don't just want to have all of the information in a spreadsheet. You want to be able to give the feedback directly to the students. So here's an example of a document that was created from a Google Form. So it has the um, title of the project, the school that the students researched or did their project on, the authors, the student who's evaluating the work, and then it is broken up into different sections. I have scores for the content, as well as some comments that the student wanted to add or give feedback. Then I have the multimedia score for the different parts of the rubric, as well as some different comments. Again, then there's the overall impression and some additional information and comments. Then I added it up and gave the overall score. To do this, I used a script called Autocrat. To run the script Autocrat, you need to do a couple of things before you can actually run the merge. First, you need a folder that includes all of the documents that are going to be involved in this process. So here I have my folder, it's called Autocrat Example. Inside of this folder, you want to set up a, another folder that is going to contain all of the merge documents that you create. So these are once the Google Form is filled out and it creates the individual document, they need a place to stay, and that's this um, folder right here, my merge docs. Now, you'll also need the form to collect the information from the students. You will need the response spreadsheet. That's where you're going to run the script. Then you also need a document, and that document is going to be what the merge is going to involve. First, I'm going to show you my form. So here is a Google form that I created, and it has some different things such as the evaluator's name and their email address. Now you need to collect an email address so that you can send the document to that student. Now you might want to specify within the evaluator's email address that it should be their Google Apps for Ed email or whatever email address is associated with their Google account. I have a place for the period, their names, etc. And then down here is where I have their content scoring. For this question, I used it as a grid type question and it allows me to have rows and columns which give me this um, nice view where they can just click a 2, a 1, or a 0 for their score. So I have that question, then I have a place for comments, the multimedia scoring, um, and their overall impression, etc. So this is my Google form. Now I have a response spreadsheet where the responses for this form go into. Um, before I show you that, I just want to show you the live form. This is the form that students will see when they fill out the form. So I have a link to this on my website for the students. Okay. So here now is the spreadsheet that will collect the data. Right now it's empty. Um, the spreadsheet I showed you before was the one that I actually used for my class. I've emptied it out in this example so I can show you how to set up and run the Autocrat script. So um, this is the document that we'll be running the script from. The last thing that you need is your actual merge document. This is the document that I want to put the information that students enter in on the Google Form and it's collected in the spreadsheet. This is where the information is going to go. So this is just a Google Doc, and I typed in college project evaluation and um, author's evaluator. I made a table, and this is going to organize everything really nicely. Now, you might have noticed that there's a lot of these pointy brackets here. Um, in order to match up the fields, so what information's on the spreadsheet and where you want it to go on this document, everything that you want it to collect is going to have these brackets around it. Um, so this is going to be where the college name, in the example I showed you before, it was UCLA. 
here's where the student's first name and last names get placed. So um, I have two students um, working in pairs, so there's place for both of their names. Here's where the evaluator name went. And then here I put in C1, C2, C3. That stands for my content score 1, content score 2, content score 3, etc. Um, when we run the Google script Autocrat, we're going to match up the fields or the columns in the spreadsheet to these spots here. So you want to make sure that you have a place for everything um, lined up. Um, you can add color if you want it to be in color. It will take on whatever formatting you have in this document when you um, actually merge the information from the spreadsheet. Now, to set up the script Autocrat, you need to be in your spreadsheet. You're going to go to Tools and then the Script Gallery. And in the search bar, you're going to type in Autocrat. Now, here it is right here. It was just updated on the 30th of January, and I'm going to install this. Once it's been installed, it's going to say that it needs to be authorized to run, so you need to continue and grant it permission. So I'm going to accept this, and now I can close this. If you notice up at the top right here, it now says Autocrat in your um, menu or toolbar here. So I'm going to choose Autocrat. If I click on what is Autocrat, it will give me some information about the script, but I'm going to run the initial configuration. And it takes a minute. Um, it tells you to select a template containing the merge tags for your document. So I'm going to choose um, my template from Drive, and my template in this case was the document called uh, College Project Peer Evaluation to Mail Merge. You could also do a search if you needed to, but since I just created this document, it's at the top of the list. And it tells me that my template contains the following tags. So it recognized everything that had those pointy brackets. And it lets me know that it sees them all. And I could choose a different template if I chose the wrong one, but I, in this case, chose the correct one, so I'm going to save the settings. Now it asks me to select where the merge data is coming from. And it's coming from the spreadsheet, and right now I only have the form responses tab. If I happen to have other um, tabs down here, I would choose the correct one. And then I'm going to press save. You notice this black bar just popped up. It actually created some columns for us that are important for the running of the script. Now um, here, we're going to set the field value condition that must be met for records to be merged. So in this case, I want to merge every document that comes in here. So I'm going to say just timestamp equals. And it says leave it blank to ignore. So this will just um, recognize every form submit. And it takes a minute. Now we can move on to step four. Now, in this case, this is where we are going to match up the merge tags from our document template to the columns in our spreadsheet. So here, for my first column, it said college, and I need to find which one was college. So here's college name. First name of author one, last name of author one. Um, you can see when you have a bunch of information here, it um, really helps to make sure that you um, titled your um, tags within the document, something similar to what you're going to see as the title of the information in your spreadsheets. All right, so one thing that I do not have here right now is my overall score. That is because that is something that isn't entered in by the student. That is something that I calculated myself in the spreadsheet. So I need to add a column to be able to do that. So right now I'm going to save my mappings of what I just did. But I want to make sure that I go back to my spreadsheet. Um, right here it says I forgot to assign a column. So I'm going to go ahead and um, assign that column. 
All right, so I forgot that I needed to add a column that will add up my scores for each of the um, contents in the multimedia areas. So what I'm going to do is insert a column to the right of my last column here and call it overall score. And then what I need to do is type in a formula that's going to add it up. I could do a sum, but because I have some contents in between, it's not as easy. So I'm just going to take the time. I'm going to type in enters. Click on the box I want to add, plus sign, and just add in all the boxes that I want to add up to be in the score. When I have everything I want to be included in the sum, I'm just going to press enter. Right now it says overall score is zero, and that's because there's nothing here to add up, so the, it does actually equal zero right now. Now we need to go back to continue on step five. So I'm going to go up to Autocrat. And step five, set merge type. Here you get to choose what type of merge you want to do. I want to save my merge files to a document and then it asks me which folder I want to put it in. Now remember at the beginning we created a empty folder that's going to include our merge docs. This is the folder that we are going to use. So it's my only option actually here because it's in the primary destination folder and now I need to send, set a name for my document. So I called it a college project peer evaluations and I can actually personalize this title based on the students or the college. I could use this information up in blue. These are the variables. These are the different column titles. And so whatever information is in that column during that one form submission will go here. So if the student typed in UCLA, it would say UCLA or UC Davis or whatever it is. So all you need to do is cut and paste. You can cut and paste the author's name, the student's names, whatever you want it to say. It will be here. Then you can choose what type of file you want to create, either a Google Doc or PDF. It depends on whether you want students to be able to edit it or not. In this case, for this um, document, it's just going to go to the student for them as information. So I'm going to put it as a PDF. You can also save links to the Merge Docs and Spreadsheet or send Merge files via email. I'm going to choose to um, have both of those. I want the links listed here on my website that I can click on. And I also want to send the files via email to the students. So I'm going to choose the fields from up above. So author1 email address and author2 email address separated by a comma. For the subject line of the email, Again, I'm choosing College Project Peer Evaluation, but I can say by and who the evaluator is by cutting and pasting the variable from up here into this line. And you can give a note to your recipients, you can give them some instructions or information, choose what type of attachment it will be, and then trigger Merge on Form Submit. I'm going to want to trigger more Merge on Form Submit, and there's a trick that I'm going to show you in just a minute so that my overall scores actually get copied down during each form submit so that the overall score is calculated and included on the document. Now I'm going to save my settings and then I need to go to step six. In step six we're going to preview or run our merge and right now I am just um, going to keep my settings but you can run the merge now if we had information to merge. Right now we don't, there's nothing in our spreadsheet. You can preview the first row, but again, we don't have any information right now, so I'm just going to keep my settings, and then I'm going to set up my um, overall score so that it copies down for each merge submit. All right, so we need to make sure that the information in our box here, our formula, gets copied down under each form submission. Right now, if the form was submitted, it would calculate this first overall score, but this next box it wouldn't send. If I tried to pull this down, it would you would get errors. It would actually push these zeros down one, and so it wouldn't calculate anything but the first one. So there is a way that you can calculate this score, and it will push it down. You're going to go up to the Autocrat menu, and then go to your Advanced Options. Here in Advanced Options, you're going to choose Copy Down Formulas on Form Submit.
Now what will happen is this um, window opens up and it shows you your columns and it asks which row contains the master values or formulas. And if you look where you put in the formula here, it was row two. So I'm going to choose row two. It, it already knows that for me. And then I'm going to scroll over to the column for overall score. So I'm going to click on these two B's and it shows me my formula. Then I'm going to click on this box. What this box means is that I'm pasting it as a value. So it's going to paste in the number. It's going to add it up. And I'm going to press Save Settings. Now, when my forms get submitted, it is going to automatically create documents for me. So I'm going to show you just the first um, form submittal so you can see what happens. All right, here's my form. I'm going to type in my name, my email address, and a bunch of random things just so I can fill out this form quickly. You can see the information's here. My overall score was added. It um, copied down the formula to the next box, so when my next form submission comes in, it will calculate the overall score and include that on the document. Here, we can go to a link to our merge documents, and we can look at what we get, and you can see that the overall score will be added up on this document. So down here, we got our overall score of 13. So this is how you can use the script Autocrat to create peer reviews or peer evaluations in your class. It takes a little bit of time to set up the first time, but once you have it done, it is good to go. And imagine using this for essays in your class or lab reports in a science class. This can be a great tool that can be reused throughout the entire year.